As an area ice skating team prepares for another national competition, how they get there will be a lot different than years past. For the past 12 years, Ronald Watson has been the bus driver for the Capital Ice Synchro Team, but this year he won't be able to come along on their ride to Colorado. Adrian Oglesby tells us why. 35 years ago, Ron Watson says he stopped drinking and began driving buses. He instantly fell in love with it and connected with the Capital Ice Synchro coach, Becky. For me, Becky shed some tears as Watson did his interview, as he says it was more than bus driving to him. The kids loved him. They called him many nicknames, including Granddad. Yeah, what was that duck, Ronald McDuck? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that duck. But they made a, they took yeah, a duck. A song about you. And they made a put a tie on him, a hat, and they called me Ronald McDuck. But about a year ago, Ron was diagnosed with cancer. At the time, it was stage three, but now it has moved up to stage four. But what, what they're telling me now is that there's the chemo, all it's terminal, and I've accepted that. It, it doesn't bother me, but it's, uh, uh, I'm keeping it, keeping it, I still laugh, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, uh, they're keeping me alive as long as they can, and it, it, it's, it is what it is, so I don't worry about it no more. You know, I've, I've had a good life, so I'm, I'm not, it doesn't bother me. Watson and his doctor decided it's time to back away from bus driving. Caitlin Hansen, a senior on the team, says she has known Ron since she was five years old. Ron, he is the best. We love him so much. Um, he's always been there for us. And, you know, he's always been there for us. Um, he's always been there for us. Yeah. At least when I do go, I know I did some good. Yeah, it's somewhere along the line, I did some good. You know, so. Caitlin says this is the team's first national competition since the pandemic, and it just won't be the same. So, they named their bus after Ronald and say that they're trying to adapt, but it's hard. The best people that you find in life are just some of the hidden places. You know, when we always try to teach our kids that, to be appreciative of all the volunteers and competitions and the bus driver or whatever, and it just goes to show, like, how much meaning, you know, a bus driver can have on your life. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I am Adrian Oglesby. Ron's number one wish is to make sure his bills and memorial service are taken care of, so his wife no longer has to work nights as a janitor. The team created a GoFundMe page for Ron's medical expenses. If you'd like to donate to help, you can click on the story on our website, kxnet.com.